I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make the new Impossible Escape game mode in Fortnite Creative. Now you might think this is pretty hard, but it's actually rather simple. Now, I did a couple wee bits of testing in this, and I figured out some stuff. So originally I thought we could, you know, just place down a helicopter and make the blue things appear, because as you know, if you have played Impossible Escape, there's kind of like... A blue box around areas that you need to fill so like the propeller is blue and you need to find it so it doesn't turn blue but unfortunately if you try and place stuff over the actual helicopter vehicle it moves so instead we're going to go into vehicles and just pick the helicopter from here and then we'll make it destroy the helicopter after and guys, you can also make the helicopter yourself. I'm just using this helicopter as a kind of template for the thing. So let's just place that there. We'll get rid of these guys. We don't need use. Let's go ahead and place the helicopter down. Now once you've got the helicopter down, you're going to need an actual helicopter eventually. So let's just go ahead and place it down. Now let's go into settings. Enable during phase reprinting. We're going to put this on none and respawn time. You could put this on anything, it doesn't really respawn in the actual games. If they get destroyed, that's it, they're destroyed. So you can put this on to it, never, but you can make it respawn if you really want it to. Make sure the visible in game is off, you can put this on if you want. That just gets rid of the board underneath the helicopter spawner. And you can make it an enable wraps or anything like that if you want to as well. And I'm going to disable it. Now we're going to go ahead and just skip the channels for now because I'm going to go ahead and show you what else you need to put into this. So you're going to grab the helicopter spawner and just put that underneath the actual helicopter because it's not going to spawn in. So we're going to pretend that this helicopter is indeed the helicopter that you drive. Now when you go into the devices here, you're going to want to grab yourself objective device gallery and the item spawner and then you're probably going to want to have triggers involved in there and the HUD message device so we've now got all these different pieces to work with so let's first off grab this here and we can delete all of these we can delete all of these and we can delete all of those except for this one this is the one we're going to be using now you could use the other shapes that you could use the cylinder looking one for the engines and all that but we're just going to use the square for an example so let's go ahead and put this on here and you know what would actually make the helicopter better if you were to get the one from the movie set because it's kind of like destroyed and stuff so let's go ahead and replace it with the movie one but yeah this one here is like destroyed and stuff so obviously needs fixed up so you can actually get the parts then to fix it up so now let's grab this guy we'll obviously make him a wee bit larger and stuff so you can see him a wee bit better we make it so the propellers broken at the back here like that engines that's something from the game too and just for an example then we'll place one more then onto the front make there be four because i think there's actually four in the game i can't remember what the fourth one is though so in these you're going to put the health to invincible or invulnerable owning time and all of that is no make sure the beacon is then set to hide it at always and that's that basically done we're going to set then the channels up later so there's the helicopter that we now need to fix now that is that bit basically all done now so now we actually need to make the item generation for stuff like that and all so we need an items that we're going to in our inventory and we can go into consumables and really get any items maybe get some mechanical parts that could be something to do with the engine so we'll grab some of those you can maybe use a bandage bazooka because it takes up two slots so let's go ahead and grab that now guys you could also use the jewel and the flag because those appear up on the map just like in the actual game where other players can see where if like bits are moving and all that so the flag and the jewel would be maybe a better choice so we've got these four pieces let's go ahead and grab the item 
Spawner. Well, in the settings here, we can do item respawn. We're going to turn that off. Random spawn. You could turn this on if you really want to. Make it be a random spawn of one of the four items. But I'm going to show you how to make them spawn in different locations. Randomly. In a certain way. Visible during game. We're going to turn that off. Time before first spawn. You can put that on anything. But I'm going to turn this one off. And turn that one to instant. Oh, that thing just disappeared. Now that is all set up there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the jewel again. Because it disappeared. Didn't like it here. So we're going to go and grab another one. We're going to go and paste this one over here. So we have one for the others. So let's drop you in there. Let's then get one of you. Pop you there. Is it going to pick up any? No. Okay then. We'll grab you. Put you over here with that. And we'll put the mechanical part into there. We'll grab the flag and then put it into there. So now all of these have got one of the each items. And you will be able to go and collect them. Now what we're going to change here if you want to make them spawn randomly. Is make sure these are on never as well. But you can place them in certain locations if you don't want to add the random kind of effect to it. But let's go ahead and put those on never. So there's those set up. Now you're going to want to then go to the creative devices again and at the very bottom here there is the random number generator and we're going to go and grab that now but once you've placed it down you can set all these values up so i'm going to set this maybe to two so it'll be two different ways it can set up or three i'm going to put it to two you can add as much as you want i'll show you how to do, do different ones roll time we're going to want that to be basically instant zone then you're going to want to put that probably to any direction you want let's just put it forward for now because there's nothing i don't think even in that building but now you're going to want to go ahead and get your okay okay you sell yourself down your triggers and let's just go ahead and set this one up to trigger when receiving from channel one and then you're going to want to change the second one then to two but as i said um, turn the sounds off because you don't want to hear these going birdie when they're you know activated so each one of these we can now like go into them and go in here and spawn item we're receiving from one from one from one and from one and then we're going to go ahead and copy these over we'll just place them over here we'll go in we'll change these to two so there's two and there's one when the game goes off we're going to make this activate to enable during phase activate in game phase game start and you could put it on game countdown too but i prefer putting it on game start because it used to always be game start but now we've got that set up that's basically the random spawn kind of thing if you want to add three you would put another trigger down put it on channel three or anything like that i kind of use the same method in my abandoned chapter two map but let's get back into these so as you know if you've played the game there's like these kind of guards that protect the pieces the only thing you'll be able to use for that is the uh, century besides that you won't be able to use anything else so you could place a century down and cover up with a wee bit of grass so it spawns the century in but i'll show you that at a later stage but for now we're going to go ahead and place everything so now we've got all these so let's go and place maybe the flag up here we'll place you over here place this guy i don't know here I'll oh, place you here. Now you can put these anywhere on your map. These will spawn in. Um, depending on what trigger has been set off. And you can make it even more random. So like there's loads of randomizers for each item. That would just make it even more random. Rather than sets of items being kind of chosen. But there we go. There is all the items kind of scattered around in a small area. Just so it will be easier to show. Now in devices, there is another one that you'll need to get, which is the conditional button. So what this conditional button is, is basically you have to bring a item over that has a picture on it. And then it will trigger that thingy for you. So let's go into settings. You can do team all. You can change the color if you want to. Now this here, you're going to want to change this if you really want to. You can keep it as an interact. But I'm going to make this maybe... Um, fix engine and then we'll put the mechanical part into that and you can change this as well let's change it to a bolt you know rather than an exclamation mark or a question mark anything like that so make it so it shows the key item just so the player knows what piece they need but that is that setup for now 
Now we're going to go ahead and grab the parts again, so it was the mechanical part for this. We're going to go ahead, grab a mechanical part, throw it in there. And as you can see, it shows the mechanical part. Now we're going to go ahead and grab it again. Clear items. We're going to place a couple more of these as well. So we'll put fixed top, you know, the propeller kind of thing. Fixed top. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves the bandage bazooka. Pop it in there. See, there's the bandage bazooka. And this one, we'll change it so it's fixed window. And there, I suppose we could put the jewel. And guys, as I said, you can pick any item you want. I'm just choosing these ones. And then this one, you can do fix back. And then we'll put the flag there. So now we've got them all set up. And you're going to need even more triggers for this. So let's go ahead, we've got that set up, trigger 1, trigger 2. So we can go in here, when activated, transmit on, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, and channel 6. Now once you've got those set out, you're going to want to go to the engine blocks, destroy them receiving from channel 6, same with this one, channel 6. So that is that button now sorted. Now let's just go ahead and place them here, you can make like a way nice kind of block thing for them to sit on. We'll put them over here for now. So those are those all set up. Now we've got the top, which is number five. Destroy what I'm seeing from number five. And then number three is the window, which then leaves number four as the back. Now you've got all those set up, but you need it so once you've got all of the items, then it will get destroyed. That helicopter and the helicopter under it will spawn in. So this is where the other triggers come into place. So you've got this trigger here, you're going to make it spawn in number 7. But what you're also going to do is you're also going to make it so trigger when receiving from channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, channel 6. So now you've got those four things set up so these will activate channel 7 once each piece of those is put into place. So now let's go back into this. Now we can do trigger channel 8 and that will happen from channel 7 go down here and transmit every four times and we'll make it so I can only trigger four times so that's those all set up now so once channel 8 goes off you're going to want to then get another one make it channel 9 and it activates from channel 8 I'm going to put this down to 1 and 1 but make sure you've got a delay then on it now go ahead into creative devices again, grab yourself an explosive device, we're going to pop you down sir, health, we're going to make it indestructible, we're going to make it explode when receiving from channel 8, flare damage, you don't want any of this stuff on, blast radius, let's just put this to 0 0.5, or 0 0.25 even, structure damage, you're going to want to put this up, um, probably most likely the max because the helicopter's got so you're going to want to put that to probably the max because the helicopter will have quite a bit of health. Turn the knockback off. Don't put it super high, no. Audio and all of that as well, you're going to want to turn off too. Visible, no. And collision, no. Collides with. You can put it to everything or weapons only, it doesn't really matter because you've got infinite health. Show health bar, no. That is all that basically set up in audio, you can turn that off as well. But that is the explosive then set up, so you're going to probably want to put this inside there. And then once you've got that set up, go into the helicopter spawner and enable when receiving from channel 9. And you can put respawn when receiving from channel 9 as well, because it's off and it's supposed to respawn when that goes off. So that's that all set up. Now you're wondering, how are you going to make it so when you go through the sky you're going to end up winning? Well, you're actually going to need a couple of new devices. You're going to need the, the race manager and you're going to need the race checkpoint. Race manager, you're going to go ahead and place this down. And in here, you could put finish line. Finish line, I suppose. Number of laps, one, start, no. Display arrow on HUD, yes, you can just keep all of these on, those are all fine, but then you can do start race when receiving from. So we can go over here, into the vehicle here, so when player enters, 
you can make it transmit on channel 10. So we can go in here, start race when receiving from channel 10. Now once that's started, you're going to want to go ahead and grab this guy. And that's actually a pretty good size, so let's just leave that like that. And we're going to enable this, we've been receiving from channel 9. Checkpoint 1, sure. Allowed vehicles, let's go ahead and put this on air vehicles. You can change the colours and all that, you can most likely put it to blue because that's the colour it is in the game. Let's put this to none. So now that's that there. So let's go ahead and place it somewhere. Once again you can do the random system so it spawns one of these in randomly. Let's go ahead, place it nice and high up, and usually it has like a beam in the actual game, so we'll go to galleries, go to lights, and we will grab one of these beams here, the blue one, because it's blue as well. But now let's go place that down, enable during phase, none, and enable when receiving from channel 10. Now you're going to go ahead right underneath this guy, you can put it in the middle if you want it to be even, place it down. If we go back, well, we would see it, but it would be a nice big blue beam going up to that there. Now we need to go back to the game device here, or the race device. On race completion, transmit on, and we'll do channel 11. Now once we've got that, we're going to grab another device, the end game device. Place it down, pretty cheap device. Activate when receiving from channel 11, and this, what to end? The game do end round as well. We're going to do end game. Now you're going to want to go ahead and grab your wee HUD message device so you can make it show when receiving from channel 10. Um, the helicopter has lift off. And we can set this then to none and you can make a place signs of importance and all that there. Critical extra large you know all that pretty normal stuff now we've got that set up now you can set this up so it says what each piece has been put in so you can make it say the engine has been put in when channel 6 is done and channel 7 and all that there or channel 4 probably because channel 7 is there yeah so guys what i've basically just changed there is in here i've made it so respawns from channel 12 and channel 12 is activated when channel 9 is activated but it has a one second delay. Now as you can see on the map the items have indeed spawned in. I don't know what one it was, it must have been one or two. But we'll go over, grab the fly, we'll grab the jewel last because it makes you a lot slower. But there we go, we've got all the pieces now. So let's go over here and put these in. Fix the back, you see the thing disappeared. Fix the window, thing at the window disappeared. Fix the top. The thing at the top disappeared. Fix the engine. The thing disappears. And the helicopter spawns in. Once you go in the helicopter, the helicopter has lift off. The thing appears with the giant beam. And when you go over to it and fly into the giant beam, the game ends and you win. So you're probably wondering, how do you make the dawn and dusk thing? Well, with that, you could probably use you can put a delay of 20 minutes on. So that's a lot more. So if we go ahead, put maybe one of like, let's put it on 10 seconds for now just to make it a lot quicker. And then we were to make it enable channel 14 for now, yeah. And it's got a 10 second delay. All right, and then we're gonna drag another one over. Enable when receiving from, or activate when receiving from 14 and do 15. 16 and 15, 16 and 17, so that'll be dawn, dusk, dawn, dusk, and last but not least, one more dawn. And then you could do one more, so the transmit on 19, you would then get yourself another end game device. Activate when receiving from 18, then go ahead and grab yourself a message device. Now you could put this one, we make this say dawn. And we're going to make it so the text is orange, or gold orange. And then we can grab another one, make it say dusk, and make it bold blue. So this here one, dawn, K 
can be triggered by this guy, which will activate on a game phase, and you could put it on game countdown even. Let's do that, let's put he, him on game countdown, and then in here we're going to make it activate on channel 14. This one will be channel 15 then. Then we can copy them two, drag them over, click this twice to make it 16, then this twice to make it 17. Don't need that one, but we do need this one. Click it twice again, make it 18. And then when 19 goes off, this guy ends the game. So you could put it on this one, dawn, last day, and on this one, dawn, second day, and the first one you could do dawn, first day. Okay guys, so I just came across a weird glitch here in the game. So the end game device will not end unless a player is the one who ends it. So how you are going to fix this is you're going to go ahead and grab the player spawn pad because that's most likely where player spawns because you spawn on the ground and it and when player spawns you go you're gonna make a transmit on channel 20 but that's gonna trigger on this guy channel 20 you're gonna make this guy then make it so it's not enabled and we'll make it so as one second away go back to this and then make it so it is then channel so we'll go into my island make sure you spawn on the spawn pads so I spawn in the spawn pad, it brings up dawn first day, brings the second one, dusk, then activates the third one, dawn second day, Thir fourth one was activated even, dusk again, activated the fifth one, it'll say dawn last day, then after 10 seconds the game will end, dawn last day, and the last one here, number 6, has been triggered, and after this is done, it should end the game. There we go, ends the game, because you ran out of time, and the helicopter has vanished but yeah guys that is how you make everything from the impossible escape game mode unfortunately we cannot add wolves and all into the game mode so we can't really add that we've only got centuries that can really do that for us but yeah that's how you do it now if you enjoyed this tutorial and find it helpful please subscribe i want to get to a thousand subscribers so i can get a code and upload all of my maps and also help watch my videos so I get to 4,000 subscribers so I can become a YouTuber. That is my dream in life and I'm almost there. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bang.